I went ahead and ordered some red onions from Hoss Tools. And they only come in packages of 50 or more. And um, I'm pretty sure I got 70 or 80. I figured if uh, I put a bigger plant in here, the worms wouldn't be able to push them out so easy. So we'll see how it goes. I put down some pre-plant fertilizer and I just put them in maybe two hours ago. And uh, <laughs> this bed would not hold them all. These are all too close together. I stuck a few in this bed and a few in other beds around and even put some in the ground over there as you can see. Um, I'm, I'm out of space completely, I'm out of space. Even stuck a couple, of, I think three or four in this bed here and these onions are doing really well but I got a problem. You see these onions here that I started? It won't be long before they'll be needing to be in the soil. And I've got nowhere to put them. And my son told me I'm at my limit on raised beds. <laughs> so, I guess I'll be sharing some onion plants with whoever wants them, needs them. Like I said, I stuck a bunch I mean, hoss too, you have to give it to them. They do not let you fall short of whatever you bought. I've always gotten more than I paid for and, and just about everything I've ordered from them. Uh, it's a family-owned business, and it's, it's not local to me, but it's a uh, next-door neighbor there in Georgia. And I've always got quality stuff from them, whether it be fertilizers or plants or seeds or whatever. I've got some stuck in every one of these beds. <laughs> and I know when these cabbages get bigger, they're just going to shade them out. But what can you do, you know? Uh, I could have kept going that way, I guess, and putting them in the dirt. But I was running into some of the, the uh, feeder roots off my satsuma tree. And I didn't want to injure them. I've already lost almost half of my satsuma to a freeze and uh, me and my son accidentally cutting up one of the big roots that was out here and the part that that root was attached to just died and and actually broke off so no I didn't want to damage that anymore didn't have any space in here oh but for one <laughs> you can see that one I stuck in there maybe maybe it'll have room i'll probably be pulling out some of these younger these, well they're not younger but some of these smaller plants that i know are never gonna you know grow out and make a head and not all this in here is cabbage it's like a four cabbage plant five cabbage plant and the rest of it's broccoli and i'll probably pull up some of those smaller ones and give them to the chickens Anytime I'm out here around these raised beds, those chickens think I have come to give them greens. <laughs> and a lot of times they do get some greens, but uh, I didn't have any today to give them. This is broccoli, and it's two plants very close together. I need to separate them. And this is broccoli, and that's a cabbage, mustard, mustard, and all those are cabbage. And they're all too close together as well. Oh, uh, if I could just dug up all this yard here and sell these raised beds, but I just can't do that anymore. My my body just won't do it. It's just not physically able. Went to see my heart doctor yesterday, and he put me on blood pressure medicine. He told me I had to start taking my blood pressure every day. I knew I was keeping a headache every day, but I didn't know it was from blood pressure problems. I knew I had. I knew I had been on blood pressure medicine before, but my blood pressure had gotten really good, and he took me off from it. And when I saw him yesterday, he put me on a new one. I didn't have any space in here for, uh, for any onions. Now, some of this stuff uh, can come out later. I'll put three in this bag here. I need to pick up that jug there and put it away. 
I think about it when I'm looking at it, and then when I'm not, I forget. And uh, I still got all these onions in these solo cups, like these. That I took out of that bed that the, uh, that the worms kept pushing out. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with them all. I'm, I'll have to put some more of them in the ground. That's all there is to it. Or I'll buy some more um, topsoil and, and compost from my local co-op. And fill up those grow bags over there them and that I got four or five things over there I could put onions in cross that bridge when I have to hope everybody has a wonderful and safe Thanksgiving and remember what Thanksgiving's all about is being thankful being thankful that you live in this country or the country that you do live in and being thankful that God's taking care of you all this time. And if you're having a Thanksgiving meal with your family, you're very blessed. God bless.